the Ottoman Empire was a nation that dominated vast areas of Eurasia and Africa, centered on the Balkans and Anatolia. The Ottoman Empire was founded by Turkic peoples. When the Seljuk Turks, which had been involved in the beginning of the Crusades, were destroyed, several states began to be established in the region, including the Sultanate of Rome, which occupied the center of the Anatolian Peninsula. The descendant tribes of the Ottoman Empire existed in the northwestern part of the Anatolian Peninsula on the border of the Eastern Roman Empire and the Sultanate of Rome. Osman I was a nomadic tribal chief who had influence here, and his military group is believed to be the origin of the Ottoman Empire. In the 13th century, from 1201 to 1300, Osman I sided with the Sultanate of Rome and waged war against the Eastern Roman Empire or Byzantium, through which he received victims near Ankara and became Bey. Bey is a title corresponding to Grand Duke and was used by military commanders, feudal lords and provincial governors of the Islamic Turkic country. Osman I, who had been growing in strength as a bay of the Rome Sultanate, took advantage of the collapse of the Sultanate to become independent and defeated the remaining forces of the Eastern Roman Empire in Anatolia. Ohan Gezi, son of King Osman I, contributed greatly to the rise of the Ottoman Empire by securing the bridgehead in southeastern Europe. The Ottoman Empire, which started as a small nomadic tribe, continued to expand after the second Sultan Ohan Gezi and founded the country of the Ottoman Bey. The Ottoman Bey later developed into the Ottoman Empire. Ohan I, the second sultan, occupied the Borsa, a provincial city of the Eastern Roman Empire that served as the capital of the Ottoman Bey and expanded its territory in the direction of Europe. In 1346, Ohan I concluded an alliance with the Eastern Roman Empire John VI, Cantacuzenos, and crossed the Dardanelles Strait to advance into Thrace in the Balkans. With the advance into Thrace, full-scale territorial expansion into Europe began. Murat IV, the third sultan, and the son of the Ohan II occupied Adrianople, which was an important stronghold after ascending the throne. Murat I established Adrianople, now Edirne, as the second capital and at the same time created the Janissary, a military group representing the Ottoman Empire. In 1389, he defeated the Moravian Serbs, the Kingdom of Bosnia, and the Knights of Malta at the Battle of Kosovo. However, Murat I died in this war. Murat I was the only Ottoman Sultan to die in battle. The Ottoman Empire continues to expand and gain hegemony. Bayezid I, who became Sultan after the death of Murat I, fought a battle with the Crusader forces led by the Kingdom of Hungary at Nicopolis in northern Bulgaria in 1396. 
the crusade brought together the Kingdom of Hungary, the Holy Roman Empire, France, Wallachia, Poland, England, the Kingdom of Scotland, the Old Swiss Confederation, the Teutonic Knights, the Republic of Venice, the Republic of Genoa, and the Knights of St. John. These campaigns were called the Nicopolis Crusades and were the last large-scale crusades of the Middle Ages. However, in this battle, the Crusaders suffered significant damage. Only a few people, including Sigismund, who was the Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire, escaped. Bayezid the first would expand the territory further by defeating the Dica police crusaders in turn. However, in the Battle of Ankara in 1402, he was defeated by the Timur dynasty, and the Ottoman Empire fell into chaos due to infighting among the princes. This turmoil began in 1402 and ended in 1421 when Bayezid I's son Mehmed I reunited the empire. Later, Moret II, son of the Mehmed I, defeated the crusaders who invaded the Ottoman Empire again, and the Ottoman national power grew rapidly. As the national power of the Ottoman Empire grew stronger, Murat II's son Mehmed II captured Constantinople, the capital of the Eastern Roman Empire in 1453. From this time on, Constantinople has renamed Istanbul and served as the capital until the fall of the Ottoman Empire. The Hagia Sophia in Constantinople was converted into a mosque with the addition of four minarets. In 1512, Selim I took possession of Egypt and Iraq, destroying the Egyptian Mamluks. And by taking over the protection of Mecca and Medina, the two holy places of Islam, the Ottoman Empire became the leader of the upper Islamic world in name and reality. The Ottoman Empire has grown considerably, but its heyday was yet to come. The heyday of the Ottoman Empire was when Suleiman I, the 10th monarch, was the Sultan. At this time, Territorial expansion extended the Ottoman Empire to Central Europe and North Africa. During this time, Suleiman I conquered Belgrade, defeated Hungary at the Battle of Mohacs, occupied most of the Hungarian territory, attacked Rhodes Island, drove out the Knights of Saint John, and seized maritime power in the Eastern Mediterranean. In the Middle East, he attacked the Safavids and conquered Baghdad, and to the south he conquered Aden in Yemen. Suleiman I besieged Vienna for more than a month. The first siege of Vienna ended in failure, but Western European countries were shocked that Islamic forces had reached the center of Europe. One of the reasons the Ottoman Empire armies were able to defeat the Western European armies was the appearance of cannon-armed artillerymen, Janissaries. The Ottoman Empire had a strong army with the Janissaries as a standing army. Four of the Ottoman Empire The Ottoman Empire became the German Empire in Eastern Europe and Asia Minor, taking control of Tunis and even the Balkans. 
from the 18th century, it gradually began to decline. Among the regions the Ottoman Empire had been able to become powerful from the beginning were huge profits from the transit trade between Europe and Asia. However, with the beginning of the Age of Discovery, Western European countries gained their own trade route through which they could import many Asian goods without going through the Ottoman Empire. Naturally, the Ottoman Empire's profits from transit trade were reduced. From 1699, the territory of the Ottoman Empire began to gradually decrease as the Hungarian region was taken away and a global atmosphere of pursuing democratic revolution and national independence arose in the aftermath of the French Revolution. Austria and other European countries also began to regain territories lost to the Ottoman Empire. In addition, in the atmosphere of seeking national independence, the Arabs and other subjugated peoples began to independence movement, and the Ottoman Empire continued to wage war with the Russian Empire. In 1830, Greece gained independence and the Ottoman Empire was invaded by Britain, France, and Russia. As the Ottoman Empire continued to lose to the European powers, it was mocked and insulted as a patient of Europe. In this situation, the Ottoman Empire carried out several reforms. However, in 1878, as the war with Russia resulted in complete defeat, the reform war also stopped, and the economic situation of the Ottoman Empire stood at the crossroads of destruction in the midst of semi-colonization by Europe. In the end, the Ottoman Empire went bankrupt in 1875 due to a financial crisis in the West and a crop failure. In addition, European capital began to enter the Ottoman Empire in the context of bad news, such as complete defeat in the war with Russia and European culture began to spread rapidly throughout the empire. By the 1900s, the Ottoman Empire would be like Europe. In the meantime, Sultan Abdul Hamid II of the Ottoman Empire was dethroned by the Young Turks, and Mehmet V served as Sultan. The Young Turk party like other powers, conducted an arms race and proposed equality for all people. However, since the equality proposed by the Young Turk Party was limited to talks, it eventually ignited the Arabs and other subject people's desire for independence. As a result, the First Balkan War broke out and Albania became independent. The Ottoman Empire had friendly relations with Britain at the outset of World War I. The Ottoman Empire realized the importance of naval power while confronting the Balkans countries, especially Greece, that had become independent, and proceeded with a fundraising campaign to secure new battleships, ordering two battleships from Britain. One of these two battleships had already been ordered and completed by Brazil, but was abandoned as Brazil's economic situation deteriorated. The Ottoman Empire was about to acquire the battleship, 
But British Admiral Winston Churchill made a ridiculous offer to rent it to them for £1,000 per day. At the same time, the Ottoman Empire had already paid for the ship, but the British took over the battleship by forcefully evicting the Ottoman Navy who were on board. In the end, Winston Churchill's actions greatly worsened public opinion in Britain toward the Ottoman Empire, which had remained neutral. The battle cruisers and light cruisers of the German Navy, which were driven into Istanbul just in time by the British Navy, were favorably presented to the Ottoman Empire by German Emperor Wilhelm II. So the Ottomans entered World War I on the side of their allies, and as their allies were defeated in the war, they were practically destroyed. With the abdication of King Mehmed VI in 1922, the Ottoman Empire officially ended and was replaced by the Republic of Turkey. Thank you for watching the video, the Ottoman Empire provided by history and current events. I'm Rebecca, Mia, Katie, Leah and Tony have contributed so far as narrators. Thank you.